Did you know that how you edit the first five seconds of your video could make the difference between your video going viral or your video flopping? Or maybe you didn't know that how many words you speak every second on YouTube could determine whether or not people actually like your content. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna know about five editing hacks that you could start using today in order to go viral on YouTube quicker than you could have ever imagined. Hack number one is knowing your WPS. What do I mean by this? You need to know how many words you're speaking every second on YouTube. And the easiest way for you to be able to determine this is watch the first 10 seconds of your video and then watch the first 10 seconds of one of your competitor's videos. And what this is going to reveal to you is how many words you're speaking every 10 seconds. And believe it or not, but this really matters. In fact, this matters probably more than anything else on YouTube because if your video is way too quick, people are gonna be confused and they're not going to like it. And if your video is way too slow, they're going to be bored and they're not going to be liking. One of the easiest ways that you can actually fix your WPS is by comparing yours to your competitors and making sure that you're cutting out any silences. As I record this right now, I'm taking breaths, I might be pausing, I might be doing things like that, which are all totally normal things to do. But what you need to make sure that you're doing during the editing process is cutting all of that out because people don't want to see that. In fact, when they see that, guess what ends up happening? It looks incredibly unnatural because they're watching something on the screen screen than normally we're used to things being edited. Whether we're watching TV or watching a TikTok or watching a YouTube video, all these things are edited out. So that's what we think high quality content is. We're not as graceful as if we were talking to somebody in real life and we could see that they pause or take a breath in between sentences and things like that. So you need to make sure that you're cutting those things out of your content. But that's just hack number one. Hack number two is you need to make sure that you are both showing and telling in your content. I cannot emphasize this enough. I want you to think back to when you were in school or maybe you're still in school right now. If the teacher just sat up there and spoke to you and had nothing to show you, had no images, had no PowerPoint, had no text, had no proof holding something up, guess what? You would be incredibly bored. And believe it or not, but you're probably doing this to your viewers right now. So what you need to make sure that you begin doing is you need to add in supportive B-roll and it needs to be coming all the time. Whenever you are talking about something that could be shown visually, you need to make sure that you're showing it and you're telling them about it. Because if you don't do this, one, your viewers aren't going to trust you. Two, your viewers are going to be incredibly bored. And three, it just makes a way worse YouTube video. Let me show you a few examples. So I wanna look at these two examples right here. Let's watch this video right here and you're going to notice that he does not show and he is just telling. Look at this. $1.2 million in the last 90 days with a brand spanking new offer. Okay, so he told us that he made $1.2 million in the last 90 days, but guess what he didn't do? He didn't show us that he actually did that. Now, if we contrast that with this video right here, it's gotten 3.9 million views. Look at this. I've made millions of dollars with dropship. I've been able and to make hundreds of thousands of dollars with AI. 500 dollars a day. Exactly. Do you see what each one of those examples did? They not only told you what they did, they also showed you what they did. Now I know this has to do with making money online and you don't actually have to be doing that, but whatever you're talking about in your video, you need to be showing on screen. You need to be showing proof because otherwise people aren't going to believe you. For example, if you're making a video about a red Ferrari, guess what you better have in the beginning of the video? You better have that red Ferrari. Or if you are making a video about Elon Musk, guess who you better have in the beginning of the video? You better have Elon Musk. Whatever you were talking about needs to show up on the screen and ideally you want this to happen every five to 15 to 30 to 60 seconds. Now this is way more important in the beginning of the video and more things should be showing up. And after the first 30 to 60 seconds, you just wanna be doing it at a 15 to 30 to 45 second cadence. And what this is going to do is break up the video for you and it's gonna significantly increase how long people actually spend watching your content. Now, hack number three is you need to make sure that you're actually using the right editing tools because if you use the wrong editing tools, it's going to make this process a hundred times harder. I've already shared with you that you need to make sure that you are removing silences from your videos. You need to make sure that you're adding in supportive B-roll and you need to make sure you're getting rid of redundant clips. So you don't want to talk about the same thing multiple times. If you could take a clip out, then you should be doing that because it's going to increase the pacing of your video and increase the odds of people are actually satisfied with what they're watching. Well, doing all three of those things, which is one tool was incredibly hard until Gling AI got introduced. Because Gling AI makes doing all of these things a hundred times easier because it's an AI editing tool that was actually built by YouTubers for YouTubers. And it doesn't matter whether you're an experienced editor or a beginner editor, Gling can help cut your editing time in half. 
Simply upload your video to Gling and you can remove silences, redundant clips, and add jump cuts and so much more automatically. Before I found this tool, this stuff used to literally take me hours to do, but guess what? Now I could get it done in just a few minutes because I'm using Gling. And you can get started with Gling today too for free if you go to the pinned comment below. And that's not even the coolest part about Gling because Gling lets you copy the transcript from your video so you could upload it into ChatGPT and get a list of B-roll ideas in seconds. This literally used to take me hours for me to watch my video, come up with B-roll ideas, or look at my script and come up with them. But now with AI, you could literally do this in seconds. And that's exactly why I'd strongly suggest you go to the pinned comment below and get started with Gling today. It's going to cut your editing time in half so you can actually spend your time doing the things that you like to do. Now this brings me to hack number four before we get into by far the most important hack that you need to be implementing in your content if you want to increase your views. And that is going to be that you need to make sure that the beginning of your videos are the most edited part. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you watch all of my content and I've literally been able to make tens of millions of dollars from YouTube, get hundreds of thousands of subscribers, get tens of millions if not hundreds of millions of views, I've been able to do this because I front load the editing in my content. Because here is something that I found out pretty early on on YouTube. If you were able to capture somebody's attention in the first 30 to 60 seconds, this significantly de-risks your video. What do I mean by this? Everybody on YouTube is incredibly concerned about how long people are actually watching their content for. But what they don't recognize is that once somebody gets past the first 60 seconds, unless you really screw something up, they're probably going to finish your video. So long as you keep rehooking them, you have some B-roll pop up on the screen. And what does this mean? That the beginning of your video is the most important. So if you spend an hour editing content every day, 40 minutes should be spent on the first 15 to 30 seconds of your video. Why? Because this is actually the most important part. See, what most creators are doing is they're spending an equal amount of time editing each part of their video. They spend an hour on the first 30 seconds, then they spend an hour on the next 30 seconds, then they spend an hour on the next 30 seconds, and this is why it's taking you forever to edit your content and people don't actually watch your content because you're putting in an equal effort across your entire video when you shouldn't be. Instead, 80% of your effort should be put in the hook of your video, and then the rest of your video should kind of take care of itself so long as you have a good hook. And you'll know that you have a good hook when you see this in your video. So this is one of my other YouTube channels. This video has gotten 33.5 thousand views literally in less than two days. And this is a long form video on a channel with less than 25,000 subscribers. And the reason that it has done so well is if we scroll down here, we can look at the first 30 seconds and guess what? More than 70% of people are still watching. In fact, if we come over here to like the first minute and 30 seconds, I still have over 65% of people watching. And what this shows me is that the hook of my video was absolutely amazing and you need to make sure you have this same exact thing in your video because if we come over to one of the videos that I uploaded on this channel that flopped for example if we filter by views and we find the lowest viewed video what we are going to notice is that not a lot of people were still watching the video if we come into the analytics of let's say this video and scroll down we will see that only 60% of people were still watching in the first 30 seconds now I know what you're thinking Rob what's 72% versus 61% but it's actually a huge difference because just that 10% difference is the reason that this video didn't do well. So you need to make sure that you're paying very close attention to the audience or attention you're getting in the first 30 seconds. If it is not over 70%, that's the reason you're not getting the views that you want. And if it's not over 70%, it's because either your pacing was off, you didn't show what you were telling, or you just didn't edit the first 30 seconds enough in order to actually convince somebody to want to watch that video. Hack number five, which is by far the most important part when it comes to editing your YouTube content, is you need to make sure that you have good quality audio. In fact, a bunch of polls and research have been done that actually say that audio quality is way more important than camera quality. So instead of investing in a $5,000 camera or a $3,000 camera, I would strongly suggest that you get a good microphone for your camera, and if you're recording on your laptop, that you also have a good microphone that you are able to use, because this is going to increase the odds that people actually watch your content because people don't really care for the video quality. But if your audio quality is off, they're gonna get incredibly frustrated and they're going to stop watching your content. Now at this point, there's only one of two reasons you're not getting the views that you want to on YouTube. Either one, you don't know what kind of content you should be creating, or two, you don't actually know what you're doing wrong. And I personally wanna help with you one-on-one -on -one in order to fix those things, the same way that I helped this channel gain over 380,000 subscribers, this channel over 600,000 subscribers, and this channel over 900,000 subscribers. If that's 
content is interesting and you want to work together one on one to guarantee you get more subscribers on YouTube, well, please check out this video right here that walks you through the three different ways that we can work together. I'll see you over there.